Now, I'm sure you will agree that getting your hair back is no easy task. And you've probably clicked on this video because you're wondering whether Nizoro is gonna be an effective thing to add into your hair care routine. So we're gonna look at exactly that today. We're gonna look at what Nizoro shampoo is. We're gonna look about how it works. We're gonna look at the costs, the side effects, uh, before coming up with a conclusion of whether or not it's right for you. So make sure to stay tuned. And guys, before we get into the video on Nizoro shampoo, if you are worried about your own hair loss, what you can do is you can click the link in the description and our hair guard specialist will give you a full analysis of your hair. All you've got to do is click the link in the description and then upload a hair selfie. So guys, what you're going to learn about today in this video is we're going to look at what Nizoro shampoo is, then we're going to look at how it works, we're going to see whether or not it works for hair loss, then we're going to look at some of the reviews, we're going to look at some of the costs, then the side effects, and then we will answer whether or not the shampoo is right for you. So first guys, let's have a look at how Nizoro shampoo works. Nizoro shampoo is an over-the-counter product that is used in the treatment of dandruff, fungal infections, seborrheic dermatitis, and related hair loss, thinning hair, and receding hairlines. This product is produced by numerous companies, each of which are fairly similar to one another. Now, the active ingredient in Nizoro shampoo is known as ketoconazole, and it's an antifungal medication. Nizoro shampoo is shown to be an effective method for treating dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis. Furthermore, there is limited research to suggest that the active ingredient in Nizoro shampoo may help prevent the body from producing DHT, which is another underlying cause of hair loss and thinning hair. This may make it a treatment option for men and women with androgenetic alopecia. Nizoro shampoo is not intended to be a daily use shampoo and should only be used as directed. Typically, the initial period of treatment requires using Nizoro shampoo twice a week for one month, which is to be reduced to only a single use every other week if the issue remains chronic. And guys, just before we go any further, if you are interested in furthering your knowledge, whenever you see that bracket and then a number inside, it means that we're citing some kind of academic resource or some kind of piece of literature. So we're going to link all those, all those uh, resources for you in the description so you can go ahead and do your due diligence. So next we're going to look at how Nizoro shampoo works. Nizoro shampoo contains an active ingredient known as ketoconazole which is a broad-spectrum synthetic antifungal agent effective for the treating the underlying skin conditions that cause dandruff. The mode of action of ketoconazole impairs the body's ability to synthesize ergosterol, which is a vital component of the cell membrane's fungus. It also inhibits the growth of dermatophytes and yeast by the reducing the permeability of the cell membrane in these organisms. While these organisms are normally present on the scalp, the significant proliferation of them can be prevented by the formulation. Ketoconazole is also indicated for the inhibition of 5-alpha reductase, an enzyme which converts testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. When testosterone is converted to DHT, this leads to damage of the hair follicle in individuals with androgenetic alopecia, which ultimately kills the follicle. Using Nizoro shampoo two times a week will reduce the proliferation of fungal agents that are causing dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis. And once the notable irritation of the skin and presence of dandruff was dissipated, using the shampoo on a bi-weekly basis will prevent the recurrence of these conditions. Nizoro shampoo should not replace the regular use of shampoo to wash hair and should only be used as directed to avoid overuse and the increase for potential of side effects. So you're probably wondering, does it really work? The effectiveness of Nizoro shampoo depends on the severity of the condition being addressed, as well as whether or not it is an appropriate treatment for an individual. In general, Nizoro shampoo works in the majority of cases for individuals who are experiencing dandruff or less severe instances of seborrheic dermatitis. There are numerous studies published dedicated to the study of the active ingredient in Nizoro shampoo. However, much of the research is inconclusive and more research is necessary to fully understand the effectiveness of Nizoro shampoo. Now, does it work in the treatment of dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis? In a study published by the British Medical Journal of Clinical Evidence, the effectiveness of a ketoconazole scalp preparation was compared to a placebo. 
The results showed a statistically significant difference in the reduction of scalp symptoms such as itching, redness and dandruff over four weeks for people with seborrheic dermatitis. The use of products that included ketoconazole can be effective in the clearance of dandruff and longer term maintenance of scalp and hair health. This study recommends that the products be used twice a week for four weeks while clearing the condition which is to be reduced to once a week or every other week in order to prevent a relapse of the condition. A 2010 study published in the Journal of Pharmacy and Therapeutics states that the most effective method of treating seborrheic dermatitis is to address the colonization of yeast and fungus on the skin and reduce the resulting skin inflammation. Ketoconazole is one of the most well-studied treatments having undergone many randomized trials that have demonstrated its effectiveness as a treatment for scalp dermatitis. The article also suggests that intermittent use of ketoconazole is effective in preventing remission of the condition when used consistently. Now let's look at nizoral in the treatment of hair loss. Research that has been published more recently on ketoconazole suggests that it may also play a role in the treatment of androgenetic alopecia. A 2014 study compared three solutions for the treatment of hair loss in mice, and they were minoxidil, ketoconazole, and minoxidil with tretinoin. The dorsal areas of the mice were clipped and dyed, and the treatments were applied to each group once daily for three weeks. The group to show the greatest hair growth was the minoxidil-only group. However, the other two groups, including ketoconazole, also saw significant growth over the three-week period. And while this study was performed on mice, there is evidence to suggest the use of ketoconazole would be effective in human subjects as well. One study was published in 2011. This study consisted of 15 male patients, all of which received a topical combination of finasteride, dusteride, and minoxidil. However, the men were also able to choose additional treatments, one of which was a ketoconazole shampoo. 10 of the 15 patients incorporated ketoconazole shampoo into their routine, with 1 out of 15 using just ketoconazole alongside the above mentioned topical combination. As reported by researchers, patients who did not have signs or symptoms of seborrheic dermatitis also reported subjective improvement of hair growth with use of 2% ketoconazole shampoo. Further research is required to determine the role of ketoconazole in the process of hair growth beyond its role in promoting skin and hair follicle health in cases of seborrheic dermatitis and other scalp irritations. So now let's look at some reviews of Nizarol shampoo. There are many reviews available for Nizarol shampoos, the majority of which offer an overall positive rating for the product. Numerous consumers agree that Nizarol shampoo is effective in treating the majority of cases of dandruff or low-level seborrheic dermatitis and are less harsh than other treatments typically used to address such issues. There are some negative reviews associated with Nizarol shampoo, mainly associated with the potential side effect of using this type of shampoo. Depending on the severity of the case of seborrheic dermatitis, the use of Nizarol shampoo may not sufficiently address the condition and stronger treatments may be required. Many users also complain about the cost of the product, which can be expect expensive when compared to other products on the market. So let's have a look at some of those costs now. The cost of Nizarol shampoo will depend on the strength and concentration of ketoconazole. Over-the-counter options typically cost somewhere in the range of 15 US dollars for approximately eight ounces of product. Prescription strength ketoconazole shampoo will cost more than the name brand Nizarol product. The amount of product needed may vary from one individual to another, as well as the frequency of use. And now let's have a quick look at some of the possible side effects of using Nizarol shampoo. There are many potential side effects associated with the topical use of the active ingredient in Nizarol shampoo, ketoconazole. And the most common side effects include skin irritation, itching, stinging, burning, dryness or oiliness of the scalp, and headaches. According to the Mayo Clinic, the skin irritation is likely to dissipate after multiple uses. Should any side effects beyond the irritation of the skin in the areas of use, it is important to seek medical attention and discuss these issues with the physician. Often, many of the less severe side effects can be managed in consultation with the physician. However, if you experience any of the more serious side effects, it is important to discontinue use immediately and seek medical attention. Those with the following conditions should consult a physician prior to using Nizarol shampoo. 
and that includes women who are pregnant, women who are actively breastfeeding, individuals with asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, individuals who have some form of cardiac condition, and individuals who are or may likely to be allergic to ingredients of Nizu Roll shampoo. So guys, is this shampoo right for you? There are a variety of factors to consider when determining whether or not Nizu Roll shampoo is the correct product for the treatment of dandruff, scalp fungal infection, or seborrheic dermatitis. These factors include the severity of your condition, your body's predisposition for experiencing side effects, and health conditions you might have. In cases of minor dandruff, or if the use of Nizavol shampoo has been successful in the past, you may wish to utilize this product as it is easily available over the counter. Otherwise, you may wish to consult with a physician on the most appropriate method of dress addressing your scalp condition. So guys, that's what we've got for you today on Nizavol shampoo. Again, if you are worried about your hair loss, don't forget to get your free hair guard specialist analysis by clicking the link in the description. And if you've not already subscribed, make sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.